The History of 3D Printers by John Link and Marvin Fu. I'm John. I'm Marvin. We chose to study the history of 3D printing for our final project. We both have done some 3D printing and are very interested in the science behind it. The one thing we wanted to learn more was the history of 3D printing. John currently owns his own 3D printer, and we used it during the project. We were both surprised at the 30 years of history 3D printing has been through. There are six different types of 3D printing. FDM, or Fused Deposition Modeling, is the cheapest and most popular method. LOM, or Laminated Object Manufacturing, is a rapid prototyping technology and can be done with any material, even paper. SLA, or Stereolography Apparatus, is a way to rapidly manufacture many object, but the cost of being, but at the cost of being a large printer. PP, or Plaster-Based 3D Printing, is a low-cost way to print 3D objects. SLS, or Selective Laser Printing, prints in metals, resulting in a stronger structure. SLM, or Selective Laser Melting, is a 3D printing method that is slowly replacing weld. Nineteen eighty was the year rapid prototyping was created by Dr. Kodama, a Japanese inventor. Rapid prototyping is a way to rapidly create multiple three D objects. This is an important turning point in the history of three D printing because three D printing is the greatest example of rapid prototyping. Without his invention of the three axis system, all rapid prototyping would not have existed. Nineteen eighty three, Charles Hall, the co founder of three D systems created and patented the first stereolography apparatus printer, or SLA printer. The patent was very good for the industry because it intrigued investors who then brought the idea to reality. 3D systems became the best option for consumer 3D printers until their patent expired a few years ago. The first commercial 3D printer was created in 1988. It let businesses use 3D printing to create parts and products quickly. But these printers were not very commercially viable as they were extremely expensive and large. Using 3D printing for businesses allowed them to bring costs down and make more items in less amount of time. The first Selective Laser Sintering Printer, or SLS printer, was created and patented in 1989 by Dr. Charles Deckard. SLS printers worked by using a laser to harden little pieces of plastic. SLS printers were their biggest turning point because they were less expensive to maintain, they printed much faster, and they could print at a higher resolution than other printers at the time. The first organs were printed using a 3D printer in 1999 by Thomas Boland. This is a promising way to obtain more organs for organ transplants. By printing organs, people could receive new organs right away instead of being put on a wait list with thousands of other patients. There would also be no need for people to donate their organs, which could harden the donor unnecessarily. Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine created the first functioning 3D printed kidney in 2002. This was proof that the 3D printed organs worked. These organs cannot be rejected by the hosts because they were made with the patient's own cells. This transplant caused medical research to boom and people started to believe that 3D printing was the future of human regeneration. Dr. Adrian Bowyer wanted to create a 3D printer that could be used to create other 3D printers. In 2005, he started RepRap, an open source organization that built printers using multiple 3D printed parts. People could also create more 3D printers from 3D printers they already had, which caused the price of 3D printers to go down dramatically. This also brought more people into the community of makers. In 2006, the SLS printer became viable enough to use at home. The SLS printers used to be large and hard to move, but with better technology, the SLS printer could be made small enough for home use. Now, people could use an SLS printer without having to travel to the nearest lab. This increased the amount of people interested in 3D printing, so now, not only could amateurs print with these printers, but small businesses could also create metal products using the printer without spending a large amount of money. Darwin, a self-replicating 3D printer, caught the attention of the world when he fully rebuilt another version of himself in 2008. He was the first of his kind and changed the entire industry by making prices go, go down for all 3D printers. Also in 2008, 
3D printing was used to create a prosthetic limb for a disabled person. Before, prosthetics had to be custom-made for the person wearing them, making them very expensive. 3D printing made it cheap and available for everyone to have a prosthetic, no matter their economic situation. In 2009, the do-it-yourself 3D printing kits made 3D printers affordable. This brought 3D printing into the houses of even more people. Not only could they be used for a business, they were also used as a learning opportunity by many teens interested in technology. 2009 was also the year scientists first printed a working blood vessel. This further increased the capabilities of 3D printing in the medical fields. Now, burst or severed blood vessels could be replaced by a 3D printed blood vessel. In 2010, the first 3D printed aircraft was created by a team of engineers from Berlin. As cheap flying objects, these aircraft has the, have the ability to be used as spy drones and a, a cheap way for amateur flyers to get into the air. The engineers are currently trying to develop a 3D printed plane capable of carrying cargo or passengers. In 2011, the first 3D printed car was created by a small car company that wanted to make a car that would not be built on an assembly line, but would also be able to be mass produced. These 3D printed cars will be able to provide a cheap car that can be sold in places of poverty. 2011 was also the year 3D printers were able to print in gold and silver, giving jewelers another way to make their jewelry. This made 3D printed items fashionable and created a demand for them. In 2012, doctors implanted a custom 3D printed jawbone. This type of implant was the first of its kind. It was the first time a 3D printed object that was not made of cells was put into a human. It was a new way for humans that lost their ability to regrow bones to receive transplants. People could also put metal stronger than bone into their bodies to increase the strength of their skeleton. In 2014, NASA and other companies developed a 3D printer that was capable of creating foods, such as pizza. NASA plans to use this technology in outer space to provide astronauts with food, but this 3D printed food also has the capabilities to help end world hunger with quick preparation time and a cheap material cost. Currently, some restaurants have already started to use 3D printing to rapidly produce food for customers. We learned a lot during this project, and we were both surprised by the complexity and vast history of 3D printers.